Hello and welcome to uh, Andre's YouTube vlog for June 25th, 2012. Well, as a lot of you may already know by my style of dress today, <laughs> uh, it is the third year anniversary of the passing of Michael Jackson. Now, I never actually made a video about how things were when it actually happened, but I'll tell you now. I seem to remember it was a phone call. My father was working that day. And uh, I got a call midday in the afternoon where he said, uh, one of the people that I work with just told me that Michael Jackson passed away and there was a big news flash on the radio. And I didn't believe it at first. I mean, he was only, uh, you know, 50 years old. And so I tried to go on the Internet to look it up on Facebook or Wikipedia. I couldn't open almost anything online. The internet was slow, like there had been some kind of massive defect. But anyway, when I looked it up, I found out later on in the day when the internet was fine that news of Michael Jackson's death had affected people so intensely that Twitter and other um, social networking sites had actually almost gone on a blink. There had been so much information. Um, interesting for a guy who'd been on top of the world, uh, at least commercially, became a public scandal and never quite redeemed himself, at least in my eyes. Anyway, uh, instead of talking about the scandals and the things that people think about and the sad memories, I wanted to think about some of the good ways in which Michael Jackson's life influenced my own. Now, uh, and that means his singing and his dancing. And actually, I can uh, corroborate how that element affected me by an event that happened. Uh, several days ago, a, a friend of mine, um, who hopefully will be able to see this video, um, asked me to do him a favor. He actually asked for a request, and I don't get a lot of requests on my videos, except for people who see them and may have an urgency or whatever. And that request was, he wanted me to do some kind of dance. And I told him that I would think about it. Now, I have. And especially since I learned, or kind of figured out, rather, that this was the anniversary of Michael Jackson's death, uh, dancing, to me, is the domain of somebody who really works and works excessively at it. And now... Michael Jackson worked excessively, excessively at it. It's well known that, you know, he would do a spin and a spin and a spin until he almost just passed out. When he did the, the back step or the moonwalk on the Motown 25 special for the first time, he rehearsed it to death and wanted to do something very different. He was very hard on himself in terms of his dancing, especially. And I realized that unless I can keep good control over my moves and I can be cool the way I want to be, in terms of dancing, I really don't want to go out there and exhibit it to the public on a video. I don't have a problem dancing in clubs, you know. I'm not uh, Sir Knows the Void from George Clinton, you know. I don't want to dance, and nothing like that. Just not necessarily on video. And as far as me dancing, another Michael Jackson lesson, which is going to go into what I'm going to talk about in a minute. In his hit, The Way You Make Me Feel, he ends the song by saying, Ain't nobody's business. Ain't nobody's business. Now that's deep. That's like really pretty gut bucket and attitude for a guy like Michael Jackson who's so universal, you know. Ain't nobody's business. And that's exactly how I feel about me dancing on a video. Ain't nobody's business but me and mine. <laughs> so, you know, that's where that's at. I may do it someday, but that's be when I feel like it, you know what I mean? Anyway, um, this coming August, the end of August, August 31st is another big event. The 25th anniversary of I'm bad, I'm bad, Shamon, you know, I mean, bad. Remember when this came out in 1987? Uh, it was the first Michael Jackson album uh, my family actually didn't get new. But, uh, you know, this is a wonderful record, actually. Um, sometimes I think it's a little bit too linked to its time. But when the actual anniversary comes around, I'm actually going to do a special video project based on this. So look for that. Anyway, uh, those are basically the thoughts on how Michael Jackson has influenced my own life positively. 
And uh, I remember it wasn't too long after his passing that I got this at a local Halloween shop. There was a lot of Michael Jackson stuff in this hat, you know, this black fedora. I always wanted one. I always thought, you know, Michael looked cool in it. You know, I, I just did. And, um, you know, I don't have the jackets or anything, but uh, this is as close to Michael Jackson as I'm going to be today as far as my dress is concerned. But uh, anyway, peace. To all of you, and uh, uh, remember the good, and if you got to think about the bad in regard to Michael Jackson, learn from it. See you next time.